These are the potato beds waiting to be dug. First and second there. This is the bed that got out of control. <laughs> you can see there's a tomato, some basil, lots of alfalfa. Um, there was an okra plant, but I haven't seen it for a while. Looks like some peas are coming up. And then lots and lots of weeds that are going to need clearing, just like I've done over there in the buckwheat. First, though, there's the peas, the cannellini, and the soybeans. And then there's the buckwheat bed that's given two cuts of buck buckwheat this summer, all on one stand of its own seed. And then these are the new beds with the bell peppers there. And the long west beds. I forget what numbers they are, but um, these did not grow beets. They are now in soil maintenance mode, meaning I'm going to pull the irrigation lines up, clean them, clear them, um, and then we'll see what the rotation holds for them. Probably hairy vetch and rye. And then the tomatoes still going strong with the tomatillos and the ever so tall um, okra. I'll walk up to it. I want to see how tall it is in comparison to me, but remember that the beds are already elevated, so say two feet of elevation on the bed itself. This is head level. And as you cut them, at the base you can see where they've been cut. As you cut them, they grow taller and grow more pods higher. They refuse to regrow towards the bottom. Although I bet there's a technique for cutting limbs at a bud or something that would control that, but I'm tall so it's all good. And then the light deprived bed. This was onions. And this is going to hold the Bountiful Gardens wheat, rye, vetch, fava bean, winter cover slash compost crop. And that one up there already has its buckwheat and clover growing. Hopefully the clover will overwinter and the buckwheat will die down for a mulch. Maybe even seeds so in the spring more buckwheat will come up let's hope <laughs> 